G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today's video, I thought we'd do a sneaky little product review. I wouldn't actually mind doing more product reviews. Um, I just could never think of things to review, but it ha like things that benefit me, but also I can make a review on them. I don't want to go like buying shit that I'm going to throw away after the review. But anyway, um, let's have a look. All right, so I think this is a product that heaps of us or heaps of you guys watching can relate to. Um, diamond tip hole saws. Now, um, I already own a 50 and a 32. I think that's what's in here, I presume. Oh, there's a 35 and a 51. I think I've got the 35 and 51, I can't remember. I haven't opened this, by the way. This is first opening. All I did was take the plastic off to make it easier for the video. Um, so the 22 is what I need today and the 22 is kind of what we'll be using as our test piece, as our tester. Um, it looks like I've got the Sutton ones which have, uh, there's a lot more grooves in them and they're a lot smaller teeth. I don't know if that makes much difference. Um, th it looks quite thick which I don't know if that will make it harder to cut through. Actually it doesn't really look thicker than my other ones when you look at it on the bigger scale. Um, one of the main things I'm worried about is the the diamonds falling off of them. Now I'll show you the reason why we went and bought this kit. Um, so if you look at, I went to drill a hole yesterday and it just didn't work. If you look at this one here, we'll get some lights. Um, see if we can get some focus. See how the, the, the tip has no diamonds left on it? There's still diamonds on the side, but on the actual top edge, it's completely smooth. Um, it barely even made a scratch in the glass, let alone cut through it. Um, so this is the one we need. It's actually slightly smaller, which it works better for us. Um, th these is this. Hang on, let me put the camera down. This fitting here is what we're drilling through, and the 22 is actually like one mil bigger, which is way better. This is like a 25, so. Um, I was working with what I had and then now we've got something better. Um, they've got diamond tip drill through bits. I'll probably throw them in the bin. No plans on using them. But um, what is that for? Oh, that's so we can use the bigger ones on the little arbor. Oh, so the other thing is even if these are shit, it's handy having that arbor because... Um, I've got my good, oh, there's a baby crying. I've got my good Sutton 35 millimeter and I, I don't, I don't have a spare arbor for it. So it means my woodworking arbor, I can stop taking it apart. We've got an extra arbor now. Oh no, baby's stuck. Oh, old man got stuck in this chair. I think that's first time testing out that chair. Chair is not a hit. All right, so... Um, that's a shit idea in my opinion. We're going to take them out. Alright guys, so I took that drill bit out and put the hole saw on it. Hot little tip, little bit of cardboard wedged between the arbor and the hole saw. And when you go to pull it apart, it'll be easier to get apart. Um, my good arbor, I've actually got a piece of rubber glued on there. So when you tighten it, um and then you put those pins in, it doesn't chatter. It like, it, it's really good. I might take that to work and do the same thing there. Um, we've got this really thick matting stuff at work that I used, I might do it again for this one. Um, I can't get that drill bit out either with that Allen key. Um, so yeah, I'll take it to work and we'll sort it out. Um, so let's go try drill some holes. All right guys, I'll let you in on a little secret. That filter we made the other day's in the other day's video, um, I'm not happy with it. So this is kind of a introduction into what we're building, but it'll be a full build video. So I'll just show you. This is the tank anyway. 
Um, so this isn't a how-to video on how to drill a hole. I can't. I'll, I've got water. Um, hold the hose with my legs. Try to get it in a better spot. Start on a 45. Holy cow, that sharp. Maybe I should replace these more often for 50 bucks. That's crazy. Um, I don't remember, I haven't used a brand new one for probably two or three years. What is that? Oh, there goes the grub screw out of it. I know. I put it in my pocket, I'll keep it just in case. And then we need to drill a hole over here. Oh my god guys, I can't believe how sharp that is. Um, this next one's going to be a bit more of a challenge. We're trying to drill a jar. I might turn the water up a little bit. Alright, so this might fail, but at least you guys will be here to watch. So, That's so thin guys, it cracked. But I might be able to save it yet. The jar's only four bucks, I might just go get another one. But I drilled both holes on here just to have a practice. That actually cracked before it drilled through, kind of bizarre. Alright, so I guess for the drill bit review, it seems pretty amazing for the price. Um, granted, my 50mm drill bit is probably 8 years old, so that's what I'm comparing to. But it looks like none of... I don't know if you guys can get some focus there. It's really hard. There we go. It looks like... It's not like the tips have fallen off or anything. So that was my biggest fear. Um, if you see, can you guys see that little hairline crack there? 
That's going to be a pain in our ass. I might just go get another jar. They're only four dollars. Yeah, because uh, this is going on the kitchen bench, so I don't want to risk that being a leak. Unless I could kind of tap it, and and if the crack stops at that base, I don't know. I I can patch it. Leave it with me. That'll be in another video, but. Alright guys, so the, the tile cutter bit actually works pretty well. Um, I did a little trick here, some of you might know it. When there's a crack, if you drill a hole at the end of the crack, it stops the crack from continuing. Um, so I just saved myself four bucks. <laughs> um, so I can just fill that hole with silicon. It's not going to be under huge water pressure. Um, I could glue a little bit of glass in there, I don't think that's really necessary. Um, I'm just going to send it. I don't know. I think it will be fine. Yeah, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put the fitting in and then after the fitting's in, uh, I'll glue a bit of glass on the back of on the inside, which is going to be fun. I don't know if I can fit my hand inside there, but... Um, it's not even the four bucks, I just can't be fucked going back to the shop. <laughs> but if you can't, if you can't tell what it's going to be, I'm making one of the world's smallest canister filters. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap that one up there. Those whole saws, great success, in my opinion. Uh, $49. I was looking at buying the single Sutton for $37, so... Um, even if I only get like 20 holes out of them, that's still worth, a, worth the money, I reckon. The, the hole saws are pretty much around $10 each. And the beauty is, now I've got the Arbor. So, look, say they do turn out to be shit, I can go buy the Sutton and the, I've got the right Arbors for them. And I don't have to bring home my wood ones from work. Um... The problem with that is like it's got the wood drill bit in it. I've got to take the drill bit out um, and then drill the hole, put the drill bit back in because I use it quite often at work. Um, so I kind of like relaying on that or like um, continuing on with that. I kind of want to get a set of drills for home as well. I don't have a set of drills for home. Well, actually, I've got a set of 18 volt drills at work. I've got no batteries for them. So um, I might just buy like... A couple of two amp batteries I don't know keep an eye on marketplace the other thing is I don't have a spare charger I'd have to get a charger and batteries and then I would have a set of drills at home I've just um, brainstormed that on film and come up with a bit of an idea there haven't I um, but anyway guys if you like this video give a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out